when I was a teenager, my father had a trucking business and I worked for him in his trucking business. And um, we had a driver who uh, we called Big Jake. Big Jake was, uh, well, when he started working uh, for my dad, I think he weighed around 375 pounds. And by the time he was finished working there, he was over 400, maybe about 420, 425. Um, he was a big guy. He was over six feet tall, but he was also big. He was just a, a big person. Um, one time he came up to me in the shop there and uh, he said, you know, Merle, like, I'm bigger around my waist than you're tall. And I said, well, Big Jake, I know you're big, but I don't know that you're that big. And um, he said, well, here, I'll show you. So he took off his belt and sure enough, his belt was uh, taller. When he held it up, his belt was longer than I'm tall. Jake was... Uh, quite a personality. He had lots of stories and and he would often leave early in the morning and he liked to do short runs maybe to New Jersey or somewhere that wasn't too far away. And then he'd come back and he'd get back early in the afternoon and then he would sit there in the shop in the break room and tell stories. And he was a fascinating person. Um, and Jake drove older cars and he would uh, drive a car and of course he would ride by himself he'd have put the seat all the way back so that he could get in and out and eventually his cars would the springs would weaken on the driver's side and they would lean and he'd get rid of it and he'd get another car and um so that was uh, yeah it was what he, what he did um but one day jake came to work and somebody noticed that the back seat of his car was just shredded. And we asked him, Jake, uh, what happened to the back seat of your car? Oh, I don't want to talk about it. But we kept asking and eventually, after uh, a few days or a few weeks, um, Jake said, okay, here's what happened. We said it was Saturday and he said, I went out small game hunting with um, one of my friends and we got some pheasants and rabbits and we got a squirrel and we had thrown them in the back of my car on the floor. And, and, uh, and he said, we stopped at the tavern for a few drinks and for lunch. And, and, uh, he said, while we were in the tavern, somebody came in and said, Hey, look at this. Like there's whose car is this outside? There's a car parked outside and there's a squirrel running around inside of it. Jake said, I said to my buddy, don't say anything. Don't tell them it's our car. So he said, we went over to the window with everyone else. We're like, ah, ah, look at that. I wonder whose car that is. He said, we didn't let anybody know it was our car. And um, so he said, after everything calmed down, and everybody lost interest in it. He said, we went outside. And he said, I tried to get the squirrel out of the car and I couldn't. He said, we opened the doors, we opened the windows, we chased it around. It would just run around and around and around inside the car, but it wouldn't go out. And he said, I didn't know what else to do. He said, finally, I got so mad at that squirrel. I took my shotgun and the squirrel was sitting in the back seat of the car and I just, boom, I shot it right in the back seat of the car. Just shredded my back seat. Uh, but he said, we got rid of the squirrel. Well, I suppose that was one way to take care of a squirrel. I don't think having a few drinks helped Big Jake's judgment as to what he should do about the squirrel. Um, and, you know, that's the truth of the matter is alcohol does not improve our sense of judgment. It doesn't help us to make wise choices. And uh, sometimes the things that happen are much more serious than shredding the back seat of your car. But that's what happened to Big Jake and to his car.